Thank you, Dan. We'd like to now welcome Vatsal Shah, President of the NJIT Alumni Association. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, and fellow alumni, it's with immense pride and honor that I stand before you today as the president of the New Jersey Institute of Technology Alumni Association to celebrate the investiture of our ninth president, Dr. Tech Lin. Today, we are not only embracing a visionary leader with a remarkable background in academia, research, and leadership, we are also embracing diversity, which is now and has always been the cornerstone of our institution. Dr. Lim's appointment as the first Asian American and person of color to serve as president of our university is a testament to our university's commitment to inclusivity and representation. This doesn't eclipse Dr. Lim's remarkable achievements, which reflect his unwavering commitment to the advancement of technology and education. His passion for cultivating talent and fostering collaboration, along with an outstanding record as an academic and community leader, make him a perfect individual to lead NGIT into a bright and prosperous future. NGIT is one of the most diverse public colleges in the country, and Dr. Lim's own experiences as an immigrant and as an individual who has overcome barriers to achieve success align perfectly with the aspirations of our entire current and previous student body. He understands firsthand the importance of fostering an environment where every voice is heard and every student has the opportunity to excel. And under Dr. Lim's leadership, we're confident that NGIT will continue to rise as a premier institution of higher learning, providing unparalleled education opportunities that empower our next generation of innovators, problem solvers, and leaders. Dr. Lim's vision matches that of our alumni association, which is to continue making NGIT a center for lifelong learning. His leadership will be instrumental in strengthening the bonds within our diverse community and beyond. And as alumni, we are proud to support Dr. Lim and partner with him to ensure that our alma mater remains at the forefront of technological advancements, championing diversity, inclusion, and belonging. As we embark on this next chapter of NJIT's history, let us all remember the shared responsibility that we have to uphold the university's mission and values, and for each of us to contribute to its enduring legacy. Together, as alumni, we will propel NJIT to new heights and demonstrate to the world the power of a community united in its pursuit of knowledge, innovation, and excellence. Please join me and our fellow alumni in extending a warm and enthusiastic welcome to our new president, Dr. Tech C. Lim. May his tenure be marked by progress, prosperity, and the unwavering spirit of NGIT, our students, our alumni, which fuel the rich diversity that defines our institution. Thank you, and go Highlanders. Thank you, Dr. Shah. Next, we present Dr. Grace Cangitano, Executive Director for the Office of Student Transition, and we will speak on behalf of the staff. every day at NJIT. The great Eleanor Roosevelt shared that to handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. To handle others, use your heart. Every time I read it, that line reminds me of Dr. Tech Lim. Dr. Lim started making his presence known on our campus over a year ago. When I first met him last March during the recording of his welcome speech for our new undergraduate incoming students, he exuded heart. He responded to the requests and inquiries of the entire NJIT community, even, more, even before his official start, and last April made time to attend the Phi Eta Sigma induction ceremony, celebrating our top first year students. The students were so thrilled to be able to speak to both Dr. Lim and his beautiful wife, Gina. This exemplified care and consideration for both the staff who coordinate these events and the students we honor. With heart and humanity, as staff, we feel that Dr. Lim can assist in taking NJIT to new levels it has never seen before. 
So on behalf of the staff who set up this stage, these chairs, and the crew providing audio support for this event, the chefs and the caterers who prepared the breakfast prior to the ceremony, the grounds crew who keep our campus looking so beautiful, and all of my other colleagues from the provost office, enrollment management, marketing and communications, development and alumni relations, digital strategy, legal affairs, finance and administration, public safety, facilities, student affairs, and the Dean of Students Office, I offer you our greeting, our best wishes, and our promise to work with you to fulfill a shared vision for our university. Welcome Dr. Tech Lim to the NJIT family. Can be. There 
Today, he brings that wisdom, all of his talents, and wholehearted commitment here to all of you. We're absolutely confident that he's going to be a fantastic president. But as proud as I am of Tech's leadership and professional achievements, I'm even more proud of him as a father and husband. He and his wife, Gina, have raised three amazing children, all of whom became engineers. His son, Stephen Lim, has done even better, leaving his position at Procter & Gamble to become the co-founder of Watcher Entertainment, and of course, a superstar on YouTube. So thank you for naming my dear colleague and friend, Tech Lim, as president of the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And thank you for the opportunity to honor him with you today. Together, let us make innovators, opportunities, and leaders. Go Highlanders.
completed a capstone course for real, and he received his MBA last December. But the uh, footnote is the exclamation point, Tech and Gina up here in New Jersey made it a point to be at that man's commencement in Arlington, Texas last December. That's a commitment to student success.
very thankful for the most hardest working uh, people at this university and her passion for her students and whatnot is what she's, she's a role model to many, including me. Um, now, we shall proceed with the ceremony. Will all the trustees of the university please rise? The Board of Trustees of the New Jersey Institute of Technology have chosen Dr. Tech C. Wen as the ninth president of this institution. We shall now proceed with the investiture. Dr. Lambert, will you please rise?
you check your organization so much. Before I start, I just want to say uh, something. Forty years ago, I came to the United States. As a young adult, and I stayed, I stayed, because we value freedom here. I have deep appreciation of freedom of speech that those protesting today are exercising. I have deep appreciation for freedom of speech. What I love about this country, you can celebrate and you can also protest. That's what I love about this country. without my little interruption. I promise you, you will have your time. I will listen to you. While negotiations are ongoing, can be contentious, we all know that, at times. But we are all members of the university community. We are all a family. And we're committed, I'm committed, to working towards an equitable solution, an equitable resolution that is fair, to both sides. Mutually beneficial is something that I understand. Principles have been my guiding light throughout my life. 
So thank you, parents. Thank you. I next would like to recognize my three children who are here with us today. They have taught me so much more. They have taught me more than I thought them actually. <laughs> what is truly important in life, and they fill my life with so much joy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Contributed positively in many ways to my life and my success. Thank you so much. I have been very fortunate, very fortunate like many of you, who are really successful, very fortunate throughout my career to have encountered some very special individuals who become both mentors and friends. I'm humbled that several of them have traveled here to be with us for this very special occasion. And you have heard some of them spoke. My gratitude to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> additionally, additionally, I want to acknowledge the members of the NJIT Board of Trustees and the NJIT Presidential Search Committee for entrusting me with both the privilege and the responsibility of leading this great institution, NJIT. my very best effort, nothing less than that. Lastly, I want to recognize all of you at NGIT who have worked with me throughout this year and for an incredibly warm welcome that has been extended to me and Gina. So thank you so much. You have indeed rolled out what I call a pattern great company. Thank you. NJIT makes innovation, opportunities, leaders. Why? Because it captures the essence of NJIT's past and present and reflects my vision for where I hope to lead this incredible institution into the future. Those familiar with this institution know NJIT does make innovation. You know that. In fact, the spirit of innovation permeates this campus and has enabled NGIT to become one of the most productive research universities in the country. We generate knowledge and create practical solutions to real world challenges in order to improve life and industry. Similarly, NGIT is special in the opportunities it creates. The most dazzling examples are those opportunities experienced by our students and alumni. As I have shared before, talent, talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not. Well, NJIT is a place where anyone with talent and drive can find life-changing opportunities. In addition, we are among the most diverse universities in the nation, and we serve a great number of students from households with low family income as well as many first-generation students. That ethos resonates with me because it is also my story, my story. And probably many of you too. You know, I was born in Malaysia, it was mentioned before, and came alone to the United States as a teenager in 1983. And you know where? Houghton, Michigan, home of 300 inches of snow a year. <laughs> that was 40 years ago to pursue my higher education. My family did not have much money, but with the help of a generous scholarship, I was able to support myself through college and became the first member of my family to earn a college degree. I went on to graduate school because you cannot become a president unless you have a graduate degree, I think. So I went to graduate school and spent several years in the industry before making a shift to higher education. I was attracted by many of my colleagues here to higher education because in my case, my adopted country, 
the United States of America, the greatest country in the world, and the institution that educated me had given me so, so much. And I wanted to repay those blessings by contributing to society through my work in higher education. This is a story we'll see play out time and again for NJIT students. Let me repeat.